Hey folks, Blameon13 here from PCG and welcome back to another SCUM tutorial video. So, we're going to go back and do the beginner's guide for SCUM again. Now we did this a while ago but I just wanted to do a better version, more updated version. The first thing that I always want to do is get yourself an axe. So you want to craft your axe. The first thing you're going to need to do is build yourself a wee stone knife. Now you can build these stone knives by looking at the ground and searching for rocks. Two small rocks will make you a stone knife. And then with the stone knife you can either cut up your clothes to make improvised rope or you can cut up bushes to make sticks and use the small sticks to make also improvised rope. But the next thing I am planning to do here is to make myself a small axe head. Now to do that you will need more rocks so simply search on the ground for more rocks. And then also once you have your stone axe head you are going to need some improvised rope and some sticks. The easiest way to do this is find yourself your closest bush and chop it up using your stone knife that you just crafted. So to make the improvised rope from the sticks you need five small sticks. As you can see here. Now that we have cut up the bush, we can use the small sticks to make the improvised rope. Now, to get more small sticks from a bush you have just cut up, cut one of the long sticks up and cut it into smaller sticks. Once you have the five small sticks, you are now able to craft your improvised rope. And now that we have our stone axe head, we have our improvised rope, all we need is a stick now to finish our axe. Which you should be able to get from the bush that you've just cut up. And now you're on your way to survival. I always think to make the axe first of all, because if you encounter zombies and you get swarmed by one or two, and you don't have an axe or something to fight them off, you're going to be in trouble. Stone axe is the first thing that I always do when I am freshly spawned. <laughs> in fact, another good weapon to make is the stone spear. Now to make this you will need another long stick, you can simply chop another bush with your new axe or even your stone knife. So you will need your long stick, you will also need to make some more rope. So again you need the five small sticks to craft the improvised rope. Once you have your improvised rope crafted, the next thing we will need to find is some more stones to make the stone head spear. As you can notice in the top right hand corner, your fame points will start to increase, which is a good thing. So now we need to look for some more rocks on the ground. And there you have it, just click on the improvised wooden spear with the stone head on it. And it's as simple as that to make and now we have another weapon to defend ourselves with. And it is reasonably effective, it's good for keeping your distance from the zombies and the axe is very good for more close combat. Now we have two weapons, we are ready for anything that comes our way. 
We have our weapons. The next thing we want to do is build ourselves a little improvised backpack because we're going to need somewhere to keep all of our stuff that we've been collecting and looting. So to make this, you simply need some rags, some improvised rope and something to cut everything with. Now we have our axe. It helps for almost everything. So again, to make the improvised rope, we need five small sticks. Five small sticks gives you the improvised rope. We can craft that. And we also need some rags. Now to get the rags, you can cut up your clothes. You usually get sort of a vest and some socks and some underwear, which I recommend cutting up first. As your shirt and pants can be used for storage also. So it looks like we need to make two portions of the improvised rope. Now we have a rope. The next thing we need is to get our rags by cutting up your vest or you can cut up your underwear or even your socks so i believe we need two rags to finish this your vest should supply you with two rags and then all we have to do is craft our improvised backpack Yeah, sorry. I think uh, I must have misread it. You need more than two rags to complete it. We need four rags in total. Apologies. So unfortunately I've had to cut up my shirt. But that's not to worry. You will usually find clothes in buildings and boxes anywhere in the round the cities, towns, or even in abandoned cars, there is no shortage of clothes you can pick up. Now that we have our rags and our rope, we are now able to build ourselves our improvised backpack, which gives us more space to carry stuff. And now we are definitely on our way. And our next thing we need to think about is shelter. So the next thing we want to do is build our shelter. Now some people go for a big base with walls and doors and stuff and other people just like to live simply but when you're starting off what I recommend building is just a little shelter. Now to build a shelter you'll need some logs and sticks and ropes and you can gather all the stuff by chopping down trees and chopping down bushes all by using your trusty axe that we have crafted. So we need sticks and we need logs. You can also get sticks from chopping trees down, which gives you uh, tree branches, which you can also chop into larger sticks. Or you can chop the bushes down, which also gives you sticks. But the trees will give you the logs that you need to complete your shelter. Of course, we will need some more rope also. Now once we have all that stuff gathered up and you put in your last piece which completes your new shelter. Now when you respawn on the map you'll respawn at this location. Which gives you a little base, a little place to call home. So if you're out exploring and you come across some players or a zombie and you die you can respawn at your, your shelter which makes you, means you're closer to where you left off. Most of the time. And the last thing that we would need to set ourselves up for the beginner guide to scum would be a wooden chest to store your loot. Uh, you can build the basic wooden chest, there's a medium one and there's advanced. I recommend building, well it doesn't really matter, 
Each one requires an additional piece of material, which is either a nail or a piece of scrap. Now the easy way to get the nails is to fight zombies. You can usually find old rusty nails off the of zombies. I just went and found myself a nail, which I just killed off a zombie and managed to pick myself up some clothes while I was out. But once you get those things, head straight back to your base and craft yourself a wooden chest. And this will be your ideal place to store all your loot that you pick up. So you use your nail and you need some rope. And of course you'll need a couple of planks. And once you've gathered up all that stuff, you are now ready to finish your wooden chest. Now this is a perfect place to keep all your good treasure that you've picked up. Now what you want to do with this box now, of course, you can't just leave it out in the open because someone will come along and take all your stuff. So what we need to do, each time you go out or you log out or you're not near your, your base, you need to bury your chest. It is important that you bury it, so to do that we will need to make an uh, improvised shovel. You can find this in your crafting inventory and it is quite simple to make. And as you can see, all you need is some more rope, a wooden plank, and a large stick. So you can find all these materials quite easily around, especially if you're in a wooded area. You'll be able to find all these materials, no problem. Plus, we have our axe, which means we can chop trees down, chop bushes, and chop up wooden sticks to make our rope. planks and we should have a stick which means we should be able to craft our wooden shovel and there we have it and notice again that our fame points are starting to rocket we're close to 100 already we haven't even begun to explore there you have it for my introduction to scum beginner's guide now that we have our weapons we have our backpack we have our shelter and we have our chest to keep all our loot and just find a wee place to bury your chest it could be anywhere close by behind a tree in a bush once you're safe all you do is bury your box and that should keep it safe from looters And then anytime you want to dig it up again, just make yourself another shovel. Or you can keep the shovel on your person. Either way. There you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. Thank you all for watching. And I do hope to see you all in the next one. Take care and bye bye.